guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shipra and I'm back again with another haul video. I think you guys remember that I went to Sarojini with my sister approximately 1.5 months back and I totally forgot to do a Sarojini Nagar haul back then. But after that day, I went to Sarojini again. I think I went twice and I have quite like i have a huge pile of clothes with me that i really want to show you uh now i just want to mention that these are not all my clothes uh i think most of you guys know that i have a store on instagram as well wherein i hand pick clothes from sarojini and other street markets and i sort of make them available for you guys so i'm going to be showing both the things like my clothes as well as things that i bought for the store so without any further ado let's begin Okay, starting off with what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing this super pretty checkered overcoat. Now, this one is my favorite pick from Sarojini because number one, it's super warm. It, I mean, not everything that you get in Sarojini is warm. And when I got it, I initially got it for someone else, but then I just couldn't give it to that person and I kept it for myself. It's so warm that I'm just wearing a slip right now underneath and I still do not feel cold. There is no heater in the room. It's 2 a.m. and I don't feel cold. So you know how warm it is. Moving on to the next thing, I have this leather uh, jacket slash trench which I again got from Sarojini. I'm going to mention all the prices on the screen. I'm not going to say it over and over again. I'm going to mention it over the screen. Um, I got this trench coat from Sarojini. I got it for myself but the size doesn't fit me so I'm probably just going to sell it off on the store. But honestly, look at this. I mean... Who wouldn't be obsessed with a trench like that? The quality is top notch. It is super heavy and there's just one defect in it, okay? It's just a little bit of leather is shipped off from here. But apart from that, the quality is top notch. It is not the warmest jacket or warmest trench out there. But what do you expect from fall leather, right? Looks pretty is amazing but just doesn't fit me i mean it's it's like itna sa tight on me i think if i lose around a kg or two then it'll fit me perfectly but for now i think i'll be selling it off on the store so if you're interested you can definitely go ahead and check out the store i'm gonna mention the handle of the store right here so yeah moving on to the next thing it's the brightest piece of clothing that i've ever owned it's this hot pink puffer jacket i mean Number one puffer jackets are so in trend right now and this color is super pretty. I think, I mean, when I saw this one, I was like, I want it. I did not even check for defects, but the only defect it has is that zipper thoda sa tuta hua hai, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, zipper thoda sa yaha se tuta hua hai, but apart from that, the jacket is amazing. It's warm. I mean, it's not super, super warm. I mean, Delhi ke winters ke liye it's appropriate. But if you're somebody who feels really cold, then not the thing for you. But really pretty. I love it. And I'm going to wear it when I go on a vacation. And I'm like, I'm saving it for a vacation, honestly. So hopefully I get to wear it soon. The next thing that I have is this really pretty cropped sweater. This one is teal color. Um, it's like a baggy fit to me. I mean, I wear a size medium and it's not large. It's not medium. It's somewhere in between. And I wore it recently on a white shirt and it looked so freaking pretty. I love the details of it. I mean, it's not much intricate details, nahi hai, but it still looks super pretty. Perfect for casual wear and even for layering. Now, this is what I meant when I said that not everything that you get in Sarojini is a super warm. This one is more like a top and less like a sweater. Yeah. Moving on to the next item, which is this cardigan. Now, look at the detail. I mean, can we just appreciate it for a second for number one, the color combination and number two, the design and... Number three, how structured it is. Now, honestly, when I saw it, I just wanted it for myself, but then the size was not available. Uh, this is a large size, and I am somebody who fits into small and medium ka beach wala jo weird size hota hai. I'm someone who fits into that, and it's like really oversized to me. So I got it for the store, and I'm not really going to try it over. I'm just going to insert a picture of it, because, of course, it's not meant for me so i don't really want to try it over and over again i clicked pictures with it for the store so i'm gonna insert those pictures over here but look how pretty it is okay moving on to the next thing now this is a cardigan that i actually bought in last winters not last year but last winters like 2019 end may but i totally forgot about this one i mean i found it in my cupboard while cleaning it up and this 
is how it looks like it's a cropped cardigan with v neckline and it has bell sleeves like i mean i'm a sucker for bell sleeves and balloon sleeves and when i found it in my cupboard now i was like oh my god because this this sort of uh, cardigan trend is so much in right now and i kind of saved a lot of money because is time pe sarojini mein you're not really getting anything like this because i've been to sarojini multiple times and i couldn't really find any cardigans probably because i go a little late or because um, hai hi nahi available i'm not sure but this is really pretty i really even like the ribbed uh, like it's a ribbed material which is super stretchy also and fits me perfectly i've styled it in i think so many ways if you're interested in looking at how i styled it you can definitely go and check out my instagram but really really like it okay moving on to my most favorite blazer in my wardrobe right now drum rolls please dan dan <laughs> it's this deep red blazer um, i own a really bright uh, ekdam chatak lal uh, color ka trousers and i really wanted to get a matching blazer with it because i really like the concept of pants suits and they're really expensive otherwise so i thought i'll just uh, you know look for a red blazer and i've been looking for it for almost a year but this time i found this one uh even though it's like a really deep red shade and does not really match the trousers that i own but it does the job of a monochromatic look which is also something i really like so i got this blazer the quality of this one is amazing even the fabric is like really synthetic if you like if you touch it you'll know what i mean but the fabric is really synthetic and i hate i hate the buttons on on this one i'm going to get these exchanged but other than that the color is super pretty and even the fit of this is really nice and it's not cropped cropped blazer but it's not even a very long blazer it hits the right uh place that sounds really bad but yeah it hits the right uh height i don't know what to say but i think you got the point so yeah i really love this one can we please appreciate my selection skills i mean Okay next up is uh, this pair of cargo pants or um utility pants cargo pants whatever you want to say I got this one recently but this is not the right size I am a waist size 30 and this one is a waist size 28 I've been looking for a utility pants or cargo pants in camo print I can't I can't even tell you for how long because every single time I find anything like this it's super expensive and when I saw this I totally forgot to you know uh, just check if it's my size and I just got it because of the fact that the shopkeeper said ha ha madam ye to 30 waist size hai and I got super excited and I got it but this looks really pretty and anyway I have been exercising so um let's just hope I uh, get to a size 28 soon so that I can wear it because look at the details it has pockets and it also has uh this hem which i really like i mean i really like elasticated hems because they really give a shape to your utility pants or joggers whatever you call it really really like it also it's super high waisted it's like super super high waisted if you look at it so love this one I'm only left with five things. Please bear with me. Uh, so moving on to the next thing, which is uh, this plaid shirt. Now, number one, I really, really like the quality of this one. It's like a really soft fabric. Seems like cotton to me. I'm not sure, but it seems like cotton to me. But it's like surprisingly warm also. I'm not sure if it's like shacket or if it's a shirt. I'm not sure because it's too thin for a shacket and too thick for a shirt. So. I'm not sure what exactly it is but it's slightly warm and I really really like the color combination it has green it has black it has blue and it also has white which I mean look at it does it not look pretty also the shirt jacket whatever does not really have those cuts or curves that are there in uh, women wear like women's clothing uh, so this is like a unisex fit my brother can also wear it and like me and my sister can also wear it so that's amazing because what's better than sharing clothes right 
we basically bought three shirts from the same person and now i can't find the third one i kept it somewhere i don't really remember it's probably in my sister's room because that's the only place that i did not check but uh, showing you the second shirt that we got from the same person which is uh, this shirt it has red blue when i saw red and blue i was already sold at it but there is yellow and white also and the color combination looks really nice also the size of the check or the plaid is appropriate because when there are so many colors i personally don't like a very small uh, check print and this one has the right size and again the fit is exactly same like the previous one like all three of them have the same fit uh, they do not have those cuts and everything and unisex fit hai sabka and that's one thing that i really like about all of these three shirts because it becomes a lot more versatile and it becomes a lot more easier to style them um really really love all three of these okay moving on to the next item which is this super cute jumper with like a zipper thing over here now it has a quarter zipper and has a baggy fit to it i really really like these stripes over here but the fact that it was not in my size i think this is a large size yeah i don't know what size it is but it is super big on me and had it been my size i wouldn't have gotten it for the store but i think someone else would look really pretty on this it does not really uh, suit my body type so i'm going to be selling this off on the store so again if you're interested hit me up on the dms and yeah really really like this moving on to the next coat that i bought and i think this is um, this is the coat that i bought on the day when i went with my sister i think there is another coat i'm just forgetting oh yes there's one more i bought a beige color ka uh, blazer dress and she bought this coat this is how it looks now this one is again a checkered i think most of the things that i've shown you today are checkered but i really like uh, the print like the color combination on this one uh, i mean a lot of people say that black and brown doesn't really go together but who will look at this and say that they don't go together it has such a nice uh, color combination it has blacks and browns and they both look super pretty and even though check on this one is appropriately sized it's not too small and it's not too big also this is not like a super long overcoat it is like thai ke jitna iska length aata hai it's not till the, your knees uh really really love this one okay so finally moving on to the last thing that i have uh, which is this blazer dress now again my sister got that overcoat i got this blazer dress now first of all i really like the quality of this one it is super thick material i think it's like woolen material because it's surprisingly very very warm um also look at the buttons the entire look of this blazer dress is there just because of these buttons now when i saw it i got so excited that i forgot to see that iske andar ye wali cheez and then this thing is red whereas it's supposed to be beige or brown whatever um i'm supposed to get it fixed and as soon as i get it fixed i'm going to wear it i'm just very lazy to go and give it to a tailor also i really like the length of it because most blazer dresses i mean they are too short but this one is a little bit longer i mean ye ye bhi same thai jitna iska length hai uh, also um i got it for super cheap i mean if you if you own a blazer dress or if you've searched blazer dresses online then you know that they're very very expensive and compa uh, like in comparison to those blazer dresses online this one was super cheap and i really like this detail like the back buckle kind of a situation is there and i really like that uh, overall love this one and of course again this is my favorite uh, i'm just waiting to get uh, the the kaj wala cheese or the red thing fixed it's called kaj uh, i'm just waiting for this thing to get fixed and i'm going to wear it way way soon just i'm just hoping that i get it fixed before the winters are over so love it okay that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite piece like if i were to choose one thing i'm probably either going to choose the blazer dress or the red blazer or this overcoat like 
very difficult to choose one thing but let me know in the comment section down below which one was your favorite also just a reminder a few of these pieces and a few other things are already up for sale on the instagram store i'm gonna mention the uh, handle the instagram handle right here and also i'm gonna leave the link to the instagram store in the description box for you to check out if you like anything on store dm me and i'm gonna just uh, send it over that's it i'm gonna see you guys very very soon also next week's video is gonna be really fun i filmed it with my brother before this one it was a makeup challenge like sort of a makeup challenge it's gonna be really fun so stay tuned for that until then bye bye take care and also hit the subscribe button if you still haven't